Welcome to the Verifone Training Academy. This training demonstration will show you the different functions included with the Payware Connect reoccurring billing feature. Once logged into your Payware Connect Merchant Console account, hover your mouse over the reoccurring billing menu from the main page and select Dashboard. In Recurring Billing, you'll notice a set list of maintenance options available for you on the left hand side. These options will differ depending on which manager you're currently in. If you scroll down, you'll notice the different managers. If you selected Dashboard from the main menu, then you'll have the other available managers listed here, such as the Reports, Customer, and Template Manager. When you log in for the first time, you want to establish your contract details template as well as any email templates for email receipts. First, we're going to demonstrate creating a contract details template. This is useful when you have a set contract your customers will be registering for. During today's demonstration, we'll be using the example of a health club. To get started, click on Template Manager. Hover your mouse over the New Template button and select Contract Details. Enter a template description. For demonstration purposes, we're going to enter Health Club Recurring Demo. Next, select the payment type. Here, you're telling Payware Connect whether this customer is set up for a recurring contract, which could be a month-to-month -month payment for an indefinite period of time with no set contract total. Or you're telling Payware Connect if this is an installment contract, which could be a month-to-month -month payment for a set contract total. If you select recurring, you won't be able to enter a contract total because Payware Connect thinks this is for an indefinite period of time with no set total or end date. This can be changed when setting up the individual contract for the customer. You want to enter the initial payment amount. This price will include any additional setup or admin fees applicable to the account. Here we'll enter $100 which will include the admin processing fee. Next, enter the monthly payment amount. For this contract, we're making our monthly payments $50. You'll then select the standard billing interval you want this payment processed. Confirm your information and select Save. To set up your email receipt template, hover your mouse over the New Template button and select Email. Enter a template description. Here we're going to create an approval email. On the left hand side of the template creator, you'll notice different tags. These tags will pull the specific transaction or contract information directly from the Payware Connect database. Simply click and drag the tags where you want them placed. You can also include any hard text such as your contractual payment of, then include the invoice amount tag from the left hand side and finish it off by saying has been approved and processed. You can further include customer details such as customer name and address as well as standard transaction data like the approval code. And you can also set up any graphics if the email is formatted for HTML. You can even include links to your website for marketing purposes. Once the email template is created, select save at the bottom of the page. Now we're going back out to the dashboard to set up a new customer and contract. Select New Customer from the Maintenance section. If you have a specific customer ID you wish to assign this customer to directly affiliate them with your own internal system, enter it in the Customer ID field here. Otherwise, Payware Connect will automatically assign a random ID for this customer. The only required fields to establish a customer record is the customer's first and last name, but it is highly encouraged to include their address and contact information. You want to make sure the address is the billing address for the credit card that will be later placed on file. You also want to be sure to add the customer's email address if you wish to send them email receipts automatically. Once the customer record is completed, select Save. You'll be brought directly to the Add Contract Maintenance page. Here, you can manually create a contract or load a pre-formatted template like we did earlier. Here we're going to go ahead and select our Health Club Recurring Demo Contract Template. You'll notice the contract ID will auto-populate with the name of our template. Feel free to change this if you wish to have a specific ID associated with this customer's contract on record. 
You'll notice the payment type is already selected as reoccurring and the initial payment and monthly payment amounts will be auto populated. Now select an initial payment date and enter the time you wish to process this contract. You want to make sure that you select a time early in the morning or late at night which is the lowest payment processing rate available for Payware Connect. Keep in mind that Payware Connect is used by thousands of other merchants processing contracts and other payments and we want to make sure that we limit any communication issues that could occur with the processor. The time is based on a 24 hour clock which is also known as military time. Also, the time is considered Eastern Standard Time since that's where the server resides. Once you enter the time, you can now enter any contract notes specific to this customer or contract. Next, enter the credit card information and the expiration date. If you use the tab key on your keyboard, you'll notice the card type automatically selects the appropriate card type. If for some reason it lists unknown, then the card information was entered incorrectly and will need to be corrected. You can also select purge account data upon completion box here and what this does is when the contract is completed the credit card information being used will automatically be purged from the Payware Connect system. This offers a little more ease and comfort for your customers that would otherwise feel uncomfortable providing you with their credit card information for storage. To finish creating the contract, select the approval and decline email templates you created earlier and then select Save. To manage your contract, select Dashboard from the Manager section. You'll notice the different tabs available for you. These help you manage your contracts more effectively. You can view active contracts, suspended contracts, canceled contracts, and completed contracts. To edit a customer record or contract, simply double click on the contract line item. You can change customer contact information, change or correct any contract details, change the contract status, and if necessary you can go ahead and add any notes, and you can view any contractual payments processed for the account under the contract history tab. Since we're using a health club as an example, sometimes members want to purchase additional items like water, energy bars, protein shakes, or even merchandise. You can process what's called an add-on transaction without having to collect the customer's credit card information if they wish to use the credit card already on file in Payware Connect. Simply highlight the customer's contract from the dashboard and select Add-on Trans from the Maintenance section. Here, you could process sales, refunds, or even void a transaction. The credit card info will automatically autofill, and all you'll need to do is enter the correct amount for the merchandise. You can enter transaction notes to help identify what was purchased. You'll want to make sure that you add the required tax if selling any retail items like drinks and merchandise. Under the Transaction History tab, you'll be able to see all add-on transactions processed under the customer's record. Now let's use the scenario that a customer comes to you and states that they can't use their credit card on file to process next month's payment because their credit card was lost or stolen. Payware Connect allows you to accept any number of payments using an alternate payment method. If you accepted the payment in cash, you'll want to click and highlight the record from the dashboard and select Alt Payment from the Maintenance section. Select the payment method, whether it's cash, check, or gift card. Then you'll have to tell the system how many payments you want this to apply to. Once you click on Process, you'll notice the next current due date will adjust for the payments processed using an alternate payment method. You'll be able to view the alternate payments applied to the account under the Contract History tab by double-clicking on the customer's contract. Now I want to talk about add-on contracts. For this, we'll have to step outside the Health Club example we've been using. Add-on contracts would be used for customers that are not otherwise in a month-to-month -month agreement with you, but are regular customers. These customers more likely have a business-to-business -business relationship with you. 
An add-on contract simply allows you to securely store the credit card information on file for any subsequent transactions processed for that customer. For this example, I like to use the example of an auto parts store. A lot of auto parts stores have relationships with the local mechanics and issue parts to them on a daily or weekly basis and sometimes it's not practical for the mechanic to come in and pay for the parts manually by credit card. Here we could process those payments by having the credit card on file already. To set up an add-on contract, we'll set up the customer the exact same way we did for recurring billing, except we're going to select add-on as the payment type once we get to the contract section. Make sure you enter a contract ID for this customer. This could be the customer's ID that's already created, or a separate ID that helps you differentiate this customer from others. Please note that you don't want to use the invoice number as the contract ID. Invoice number can actually be applied for the individual transaction that you process for the customer. The only required fields to set up this type of payment are the primary credit card info and expiration date. You can also designate an approval and decline email template if you wish to still send them email receipts. Now, the credit card is securely stored in the system and can be used to process add-on transactions as we discussed earlier. To locate your add-on contracts, all you need to do is select the add-on tab from the dashboard to locate your customer's record. Simply click and highlight it and select add-on trans from the maintenance section to process the appropriate payment. You can add notes, you can add invoice numbers, and all transactions will be listed under the transaction history tab. The last feature I want to demonstrate for you is the Decline Contracts Alert. After your contracts are processed, if there were any Decline Contracts, there will be an alert listed above your contract table in the dashboard. Click on the link to show the list of Decline Transactions. Now you want to double click on the record you're addressing. This will open up a separate window that has all your available options listed for you. You can resubmit the payment using an alternative account or you could resubmit with the current account on record, or even process the payment using an alternative payment such as cash or check, as we just discussed a little bit ago. All contractual and individual transactions are available to be viewed under the Transaction Detail Reports under the Reports main menu. If you experience any issue setting up a contract or payment method, Go ahead and give our help desk a call 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. This will conclude the demonstration on the recurring billing feature in Payware Connect. From the Verifone Training Academy, thanks for watching.